Hello everyone, this is Nez Lover, and I thought I'd give everyone a quick little peek of the Newark Earthworks here in Newark, Ohio. I am here with my partner in lore, Legendary Ohio Research and Exploration, and Diana's father, Mr. Rod Spielman. He's doing his own little video today, and I thought I'd take everybody inside the great circle for a moment. I think I've been here more at night when you're not supposed to be here <laughs> than during the day. But, um, been here a lot during the day too. Now then, for those who come here and want to see some shadow people, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, and right where I'm pointing this camera is where I have seen many times groups of what look like uh, children at play, uh, Native American children running and playing, and they'll run from here to this other grouping of trees over here. And this grouping of trees looks real spooky at night too. But uh, yeah, they never really interact or take notice of who's ever there. Completely harmless. I think it's more of an echo of energy like at Gettysburg where you see some of the same activity over and over just because it's recorded into the the grounds that you're on. Now this was a sacrificial and ceremonial earthwork according to the research I've done so far and I've read lots of books, watched lots of videos, listened to a lot of lectures. Um, I happen to know Mr. Dr. Brad Lepper. He's also been on Ancient Aliens. He's from here and uh, we used to do some things at the local theater together. So I know Dr. Lepper and his son. Um, so I've had a lot of people to talk to about this. It's a beautiful place, but it's also a very eerie, creepy place. I think you can certainly feel the energy in here, very palpable. When they used to have powwows here, even they would not deign to have it inside here. What with all the energy, they'd have it over this way on the other side of the circle, just to the other side of that part of the mound. To do that powwow thing in here would have just been a little too much. But I'm going to take you around just a little bit, just to see. Look at all the beautiful little flowers popping up, finally. Finally spring has taken so long to come here. Look at those horrible chemtrails. Let's take a moment and go, you sons of bitches, doing this to our sky. Operation Solar Shield, thanks Harvard, you dumbasses. Any, anyone who believes Harvard University is acting in anyone's best interest certainly needs their head examined. But at any rate, just thought I'd take us up to the middle. And according again to the research I've done, this is the sacrificial spot. And when you sit here at night, in the summer's evening, not long after the, after the uh, lightning bugs and such come into season, you can sit right up here. And if you're still and quiet and patient, Park your butt right here where I have so many times. And you will see these trees will be lit up almost as if by little magic little uh, Christmas lights with so many lightning bugs. It's quite the sight. And then over here again is where the shadow people start coming from and the children laugh and play and and just, they don't they don't notice us at all 
and they make their way across here and go over there. Quite a sight. I'd like to share it with some of you people, some of you fam. Be fun to watch. Wish it could show up on camera. Shadow people don't like to show up on camera. But here we are inside the Great Circle Earthworks. This used to be, I believe 1800s, they used this for a race track, for I think harness racing. Used to be a fairgrounds. Looks real creepy like the old pictures from from It, from the first movie It. It, it looks real, real creepy when I look at old pictures of that. So they've changed a lot. There used to be a pond over this way. They terraformed and drained it and took that out. But this is just one of many features of Newark, Ohio. That's still very much here. And there are still several occult groups interested in doing rituals and, and other things like that right here. The Mormons come here quite a bit too. You'll see them in their little outfits, their little shirt and ties. And I've inquired, I'm not just speculating and talking out of my rear end. I've made inquiries to, to who gets to come here and do what. And the Mormons are one of those people. So what they all want to do here not entirely sure, but it's it's quite a place to be. You can you can really feel that this is a different spot than the rest of the of the town of Newark. They still use this actively, and uh, there's even an underground access. There's like a secret manhole here somewhere. If I find it, I'll show it to you. But I'm dying to get down in there and see what's under. But it's a beautiful place nonetheless. And I would love for maybe Tim and John or our dear James or George and the Steel One and Paranormal Tad. Paranormal Tad would love it here. Woo, buddy. Kevin, Michigander man, Amy and Lane, I think you'd love it here too. All you fans who like to go investigating with Glenn, forget about it. We'd have such a good time. But I can't find the secret manhole cover. But anywho, I'm about to die and my battery's here. And I wanted to make a video on this beautiful day, despite the chemtrail bullshit. Ooh, it makes me so damn mad. Anyway. But anyway, welcome to Newark. Welcome to the Earthworks. This is one of the reasons. It's land of legend and heart of it all. Look it up. Much love to you, fam. See you soon. Ta-ta.